Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another fall makeup tutorial and this time it gets even better because it's all using drugstore products. Yeah! This makeup look is something that you guys have been requesting because you guys all wanted me to do a tutorial around the eyeshadow color Olive. So this is exactly what I did. I did something super, super smoky and dramatic. Perfect for fall, but if you guys would like to see something more daytime appropriate without a wing line or anything, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up so that way I can know and do that look for you guys. But other than that, my loves, if you guys like this look, then you already know what to do. Keep on watching, but before we do jump into the video, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that ring bell notification. That way YouTube notifies you when I upload. And of course, my social media will be all linked down below in the description box as always. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm gonna get started with the eyes first. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is apply this primer from LA Girl. This is their Pro Primer, and this is in the shade Nude. They have a black one too, and I think a white one. But I'm going to be using the nude one. This is actually my first time using this, so we'll see how it works. Now I'm going to take my Elf Mad for Mattes 2 palette. I absolutely love this palette. I've told you guys so many times how much I love this palette, especially because of the tones that it has. They're warm tones, they're neutrals. And this is the palette we're gonna be using for our crease. So I'm first gonna start out with this shade as my transition color. All right, so now to darken things up, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which is the darkest brown from the palette, and I'm gonna be working this on the outer part of my eye. And then whatever you have left on your brush, you just wanna start working it into your crease. To blend it, I'm gonna be taking this brown just to blend out the edges. Now taking the City Mini Palette from Maybelline. This one is in the color Urban Jungle. It has beautiful shades of green. I'm gonna be taking this dark olive green and applying this all over my entire lid. Now take your crease brush again, the one that you use to blend out the dark brown eyeshadow, and we're gonna be blending out the crease with this. Now I'm just cleaning up the edges with a little makeup remover wipe. Now for my wing liner, I'm going to be using this one from Wet n Wild. This is Carl. This is called their Mega Liner. So we're gonna be using this to do a wing liner. Now for my waterline, I'm gonna be using this one from LA Girl, and this is called their Glide Gel Liner, and this is in the color Very Black. And now for my mascara, I'm actually gonna be using this for the first time, but this is the Rimmel London Shake It Fresh Volume Mascara. Um, I guess you just shake it up and then you apply it. So we're gonna see how this works out. Now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes. Now we're gonna get started with our face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously prime it. So again, I'm taking an LA primer and this one is their Pro Prep. This is their HD Smoothing Face Primer, which is gonna make everything super smooth and that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna be using this. And now for my foundation, I'm gonna be using my NYX Total Drop Foundation. I am using the shade number 11. All right, so first I'm gonna drop a few drops all over my face and then blend it out. And 
And then for my concealer, I'm using this one from LA Girl. This is their Pro Concealer, and I'm using the shade Natural. Now another new product that I want to try out is this one from Wet n Wild. This is their contour sticks and I have never tried it. I want to see how it, how well it blends and everything but this is called Where's Walnut. Isn't that so cute? I love the name. So I'm going to be using this to contour my face. Ooh, it's pigmented. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad. Now to set the areas where I applied my foundation and concealer, I'm gonna be using this powder from Maybelline. This is their Better Skin and I'm using the shade number 30. To go over the areas where I did apply my cream contour stick, I'm going to be taking my good old NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder to set those areas. And you guys know I cannot go without doing a drugstore tutorial without using my Milani Luminoso Blush. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this just to give a little color to my cheeks. Something I'm super, super excited for to use is this new Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Everybody and their mother has talked about it, they've used it, it looks so beautiful, very, very pigmented. And I just haven't gotten around to using it. So yesterday I was in at CVS and I saw that they had it and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe now I have it in my hand. So I'm going to be using this to highlight my face. Let's see how blinding this is. What? Oh, you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys? Wow, this just be all highlighters from the drugstore. Oh my God. I am officially shook it. So now for my brows, I'm gonna take my Holy Grail from the drugstore, which is the Revlon Brow Fantasy uh, Pencil. So I'm gonna use only this side to fill in my brows. Before, after. Huge difference. Now the same way that we took the brown shades and put them on our crease, the same exact way that we're gonna be applying them underneath our eye. And then with a very small detailed brush, we're gonna use a little bit of the highlighter to apply in the inner corner of our eye. I'm gonna be using this one. <laughs> this is the NYX Lingerie uh, Seduction Liquid Lipstick, so this is what I'm gonna use for my lips. And well, my loves, this is the final look. I really hope that you guys liked it. Please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you guys would like to see a more daytime appropriate, no liner type of look for fall. Let me know in the comments or just give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. That way you're updated with my future videos. And of course, don't forget to hit that ring bell. That way YouTube notifies you when I upload. My social media will be all linked down below in the description box as always with all the products that I use. Other than that, my loves, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Mwah. <gasps> Shit. The area is faulty. Shook. 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 Shook.